Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new collection from MAC Cosmetics, which is the new Disney's Aladdin collection. So I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited to go watch the movie this Friday. Just a little background, so in case you guys just don't know, um, I, am a Disney, I am a Disney fan, and I love Disney movies. Um, I love Disney World. I love anything that's related to Disney, so... Yeah, so this is why I'm super excited about this collection. Just because I was already excited about the movie itself. And then when I saw that MAC was actually coming out with the collection, I was just super excited to see what they came up with. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that's in the collection. As well, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with some of the products I did purchase from the collection. I didn't get everything from the collection just because, one, you know, some of the products are repromotes and I already do own them. To some of the products I know I probably wouldn't even wear on a day-to-day -day basis or even bother to grab from my collection to wear it. So I just basically just bought what I really, really wanted from the collection. So this is the look that I came up with. If you guys want to skip through to the tutorial, I'll leave the timestamp down below. I'm going to be posting a picture so you guys can see what the whole collection does look like. And I just want to tell you guys, I think MAC did a really awesome job at um, doing the packaging. Well, I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette, which the eyeshadow palette I did purchase because I felt like, you know, as a Disney fan, um, if any of you are out there are Disney fans, I feel like as far as makeup collections go, from the whole collection itself, I felt like the palette was actually probably the, the thing you should actually go and get so I already knew I wanted the palette regardless um, unless it has some crazy colors that I know I wouldn't wear but you know this palette is very wearable it has very neutral colors you could do a night look with this you could also do a very neutral look for daytime the only thing that I was a little disappointed I was kind of expecting like a little bit of pop of color in this palette i think that it would have been really really nice palette if they could at least have put like a teal color in here i feel like it would have described a little bit more princess jasmine but and the palette itself it is called princess jasmine so i don't know i feel like they could at least put like maybe like a shimmery pretty teal color in here to represent princess jasmine a little bit more but the colors are not bad itself. I feel like, you know, it's a very wearable palette. And the next product that I picked up from the collection is this highlighter, which I think is a highlighter. This is um, called Always One Jump Ahead Powder Blush. So I don't know why they would put it as a powder blush because to me it doesn't look like a blush at all. But as a highlighter, it looks really, really pretty on. On me, it's more like a darker gold. Um... It's not that dark at all. I was pretty scared that it was going to be too dark for my skin tone. That's why I actually wanted to go to the store and swatch it myself just to make sure um, it wasn't going to be too dark. If you guys have fair skin, I don't recommend this product at all. It's going to be too dark for you. But if you're light skin or darker, especially on darker, on like tan or darker skin tones, this, this is going to look gorgeous on you. But I love it. You have the little genie in the on the powder, printed on the powder and... I think the packaging is just so pretty. It's all gold. You know, MAC always does a really good job, I feel, uh, at, as far as when big collections come out. They do a really pretty job at the packaging. And the last thing I did pick up from the collection is the lipstick, which is in the shade Friend Like Me. The nudie pink color that's in the collection. These are the types of nudes that I like. Um, I feel like they flatter me a little bit more than darker ones. And me personally, that's what I like to wear. And I also really like the formula. This is an amplified formula, which is more hydrating. It's more creamy, so it doesn't feel drying on the lips, especially if you suffer more of dry lips. Um, this is just a really pretty color. I love it. So the collection also contains three other shades, which one of them is the shade called Whole New World, which is the hot pink one. Um, I feel like it's a fuchsia color. They say it's a velvet matte. Um, when I did swatch it in the store, I felt like it looked more like a satin because it had a little bit of shine to it. If it was more of a matte formula, I would probably would have bought it. 
but I don't really tend to wear bright pink colors and plus I have other ones in my collection so I felt like I really didn't need this lipstick at all and I probably wouldn't even wear it as much so I was looking more for a color that I knew I was going to actually wear. If you guys are really into that fuchsia bright pink which is a really pretty shade for the summer especially you know I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. The other color in the collection is called Princess Incognito which is a nude um, if you guys are familiar with Velvet Teddy, I feel like it's very kind of close to it. It's a very pretty color, so, you know, it's a little darker than the one that I picked up. And I feel like that one will suit a lot of skin tones as well. And the other one is the color called Raja, which is also a matte, as the one that I just said. They're both matte shades. And this one's more of a darker tone, which I think looks beautiful, especially on darker skin tones. I think this color will look really, really pretty. Even on medium to um, light to medium skin tones, I think it will look really nice. I was debating whether to get that color, but I was like, uh, I'm not really sure. So I didn't even purchase it at all. But I think the four shades that they actually came out with are very wearable colors so I think as far as the lipsticks goes they did a really good job choosing the colors. So as I didn't mention all the lipsticks retail for $20 which is a little bit more than what their regular lipsticks cost and it's because their packaging that's the whole reason why they're a little bit more. And so the collection also features three lip glasses. Um, one is called Diamond in the Rough, the other one is called Jewels on Jewels, and then the last one is called Magic Carpet Ride. Um, these don't have a very um, like pigmented color. I feel like they're more like uh, toppers for lipsticks. So they're very they have sparkle in them. They're very very pretty. I did swatch them in the store, and they're very very pretty lip glosses. I just feel like to spend nineteen dollars on a lip topper, I just I, I didn't really want to. And plus, I have so many other lip glosses that I really didn't feel the need to really, you know, go and get another lip gloss. And then they also have the Crystal Glaze Gloss, which is the one in the jar. This one is called, in the shade number one, Wish. And this one's more of a moisturizing lip gloss. So if you guys want more of a moisturizing lip gloss, you guys will like this one. And then they also have the pigments in the shade Rose. This is actually a repromo. Um, I think the shade is gorgeous. This is, this is a beautiful, beautiful pigment shade. I do own it, so obviously I'm not, I didn't want to go and buy the same shade because I already have it. And the pigments last you forever. But if you guys don't own this color, I highly recommend you guys get it. It's such a beautiful, rosy color. It has like gold glitter in it. It's a beautiful shade to have and these pigments will last you a very very long time and this actually retails for $24 I believe they usually retail for $22 so I think this you know this one retails for $24 obviously because of the packaging and then you have the what they call powder blush another one which is in the shade your wish is my command this is a matte formula so this is more of a bronzer I don't know why they would call it a powder blush but either way it's a bronzer and it's a matte shade this is a really really pretty color I didn't pick it up just because I feel like it could have been too dark on my skin tone but even if you're my skin tone or even a little lighter, you could go very light-handed and it would be fine. I feel like I didn't need more bronzers in my collection. Like, I already have my favorites, which I usually just tend to grab the same ones unless, like, I'm running out of it. Then I probably would have picked it up, but, you know, I really didn't need another bronzer. But this is a very, very pretty bronzer. and The bronzer itself also retails for $35. So the last product that the collection contains is the Technical Liner which is in the shade Graph Black. I do have it here, but it's not, obviously, it's not the one from the collection. This is just the, the permanent one. And this is a very black, if you like a really black liner, um, you guys will like it. The only difference is just the packaging. So on Mac's website, you have the option of purchasing the whole collection itself, which retails for $310. That's if, you know, Anybody is interested in purchasing the whole collection and not just purchasing it piece by piece. I don't know. I think it's pretty pricey, my opinion. But, you know, if there's somebody that actually wants the whole thing, 
that's how much everything it costs. um is actually still available online besides the technical liner and the lipstick which is the fuchsia one which is called whole new world those two as of now they're sold out i'm pretty sure you could still purchase them if you call a mac counter or a mac store near you and you know just ask if they have the products that you guys are looking for so if you guys are interested in seeing the look that i created with the products that i did pick up from this collection just stay tuned and keep okay, on watching. so i'm going to be first starting off with the color riffraff and i already have my eyelids primed i'm just going to be using this color as our transition color Okay, and next I'm going to be going in with my Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to go in with the color called Abu. And I'm just going to be placing this on my outer corner. And then going in with the same Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to go in with this darker shade which is called shadowy lady and this one we're going to be placing on top of that purple that we did just to make this color even more darker and then going in with this luxie brush this is a luxie mini taper brush i'm just going to be using it with no color whatsoever and just blending out the edges so next I'm going to be going in with the middle shade which is called Agrabah and I'm just going to be packing this on our lid okay and then I'm going to be going in with that Luxie brush and just and just blending out the edges and then using my MAC 219 brush, which is just a pointed brush like this, I'm going to want to go in with that really pretty silver color, which this color is called Live the Genie Life. And I'm going to be using that color as my inner corner color. And for our brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with this middle shade in the top row which is called rags to riches and I'm gonna be placing that on my brow bone okay so I'm just gonna be putting on some falsies I'm not gonna be doing no eyeliner or anything like that and I'll be right back okay so I already have my foundation on already and for the blush this collection didn't have a blush which I honestly think they should have made a blush with this collection but um, they did it so I'm just gonna be using max gingerly okay and for highlighter um, I'm gonna be using this highlighter that was in the collection this is the always one jump ahead it says it's a powder blush I have no idea why they say it's a powder blush I actually would use this as a highlighter instead of a blush but either way there's no rules to make up so you use it how you want to use it Okay, so I like the highlighter um, It's actually not too dark so if you are about light to medium skin tone you don't have to worry about it looking really dark on you so I really like how that looks and if you're darker skin tone it'll look really really pretty let me just swatch it so you guys could see exactly what it looks at least on my hand so this is what the swatch looks like it's it's a really pretty like champagne gold color which I feel like on my face it actually didn't look as dark as it looks like on my hand. So for lip liner we're just going to be sticking to MAC products. So I'm going to be using the color Whirl. Um, they did not have a lip liner for this collection. So I'm just going to go in with this lip liner first.
And then for the lipstick, I'm going to be using the color called Friend Like Me. This is an amplified formula, which is a creamy formula. Okay, and the eyeshadows I'm going to be using for our bottom lash line, I'm going to be going in first with the color called Riraff, which is that matte light brown color. And next I'm going to go in with the color called Abu. And this color I'm just going to be placing it not all the way, I'm just going to go halfway from my outer corner to the center. And then we're going to be going in with the color called Agraba. And I'm just going to be using this towards my tear duct area, which I feel like this is probably my favorite color out of the palette. This is a very pretty, like, purpley shimmery color okay so that is it for today's video let me know what you guys picked up from this collection or if you guys are even planning on picking up certain pieces or you guys are going to be picking up the whole collection yourselves let me know what your thoughts are on the collection you know my overall thoughts is a really pretty collection they did a really good job as far as the packaging goes but i feel like you know as far as the eyeshadow palette, I was just kind of disappointed. I was really hoping that they had put like that teal blue in that eyeshadow palette. But either way, I think it's still a really nice wearable palette. You could do your smoky eyes with it or a neutral look. I still like the eyeshadow palette and everything else from the collection, I think it's really nice. Um, they did choose really nice colors for the lipsticks, the glosses. Um, I kind of wish they would have put also um, a really nice blush to add to the collection itself. But overall, I feel like MAC did a really good job creating this whole collection for the Disney's Aladdin movie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys did like, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys.